I bought one of these cheap windshield noise reducers off of Amazon to see if it works. I take that throwback. I had no idea it was trademarked. So the idea is that the front acts as a nylon windshield and then the sides and back help reduce external noise in the room. The construction is better than I assumed it would be for under $25. However, will it do what it says it does? Today, what I'm going to do is turn on my gaming PC and a box fan on high and have the noise be very loud during my test. So first I'll test it without it on and then I'll test it with it on and we'll see how much, if any, does this reduce noise in the same environment. I'll be honest, my expectations are low, but let's see what it's got. Okay, I've ramped up the noise and here's how it sounds. In OBS, the sound seems to be ramping up to almost negative 40 when I'm not speaking. Typically, there's nothing registering on the meter. So now it's time to put on this noise blocker and see what our results are. Now, the noise blocker is on, and I'm going to be quiet for a couple of seconds and see where the meter is hovering. It appears, in OBS anyway, that the meter is hovering around negative 45, but it does go up from there like to negative 43, 42-ish. However, I'm gonna drop the silent sections with just the box fan and the gaming PC into Audition, and I'm gonna do some measurements in there, and I'll give you the honest results. As you can see from the statistics on the screen, without the blocker, there was a loudness of negative 41.25 and a perceived loudness of negative 40.55. With the blocker, the microphone had a loudness of negative 45.36 and a perceived loudness of negative 44.85. So does it work? Yes, bringing us to a total of roughly 4 dB in performance gain. Is it worth 25 bucks? Only you can answer that. If 4 dB is worth 25 bucks, to me it's not just because of the added bulk that you're going to have on screen with you, unless you frame it just right and don't have your microphone and this monstrosity in view, it's just not worth it for 4 dB. If we started getting closer to double digit noise reduction from the rest of the room, then I might be a little more positive on this type of device. For audio podcasting or for voiceovers, if you think 4 dB is gonna make or break it, then you could definitely pick one of these up on Amazon. There, there's a million different brands, and I bet you they're all the same. But what do you say? Is 4DB worth the investment of about $25, or are you good where you're at? Be sure to comment down below. And if you're curious about this microphone, why don't you click the video that's on the screen now? Thank you.